Hello everyone and welcome to this how to use Ethan wallet tutorial. By the end of this video you'll know how to download, install and use the Ethan wallet decentralized exchange or DEX for short. For starters go ahead and open a web browser and navigate to the Ethan website by typing ethan.cx or ethan.com. Then you want to scroll down and click on the orange join Ethan now button and it'll ask you to register or log in if you already have a token pay account. I'll go ahead and register. Now after you've registered you'll receive an email with the verify link you need to click on so that you can finish setting up your Ethan account. Then you'll just go ahead type in your credentials and sign in. You're now taken to the Ethan dashboard which shows all of your account information. Now to download the wallet, go to the left panel and click on the download Ethan option, then click on download for Windows or Mac depending on which OS you're using, and choose to save the installer and wait for the download to complete. After the executable has finished downloading, just go ahead and double click on it, click on run, and we'll just wait until the wallet software has finished installing. After the installation window is gone, wait for a few seconds while Ethan launches on the background you can see its window. At the Ethan welcome screen, you are given the option to either create a new wallet or import an existing one. For now, we're going to click on create a new one. And then read the terms and conditions and click on agree. We're now prompted to choose a password for our wallet. This password has to be at least 12 characters long and have at least one number. Please remember that we don't hold your password and therefore we don't have the ability to reset it in case you forget it. This is different from your token pay account password, so please use a password you can remember or better yet, use a password manager tool such as KeyPass or LastPass to generate and store a complex password. This is the 24 word seed phrase that corresponds to your Ethan wallet and all of the coins you hold in it. So please keep it in a safe location. This is not to be shared with anybody because the seed phrase is the only thing needed for someone to steal your coins. They don't even need to know your wallet password that you've just set. The recommendation is to write them down in a piece of paper, laminate it so it's waterproof in case of a flooding, make physical copies of it, and store them in a different secure locations, hopefully in different buildings. Don't take screenshots or store them in a text file or on Dropbox or anything like that because accounts and phones can get hacked all the time and you don't want that for your coins. As a security mechanism to validate that you've written down your seed phrase correctly, the wallet will clear a few words from the seed phrase and prompt you to type them down in the right order. After doing that, go ahead and click on confirm. And if it's tied down correctly, you can finally start using your Ethan wallet. The first thing you'll see is a notification of new software versions and updates in case there are any. Now this is the overall dashboard. You'll notice that we have 16 coins at the time of recording, but there will be several others added in the next few weeks. Also trading for the coins within the DAX will be added in May, so stay tuned for that. You also have your notifications panel on the right side, it's showing us that there's a new software version ready to be installed. There's also a night theme if you prefer it. And you can also set your time zone here. On the network tab, you can also enable the use of Tor or the Onion Router Network to increase the privacy of your transactions. If we click on the Security tab, we have a few options here, like change the wallet password we initially set, back up our seed phrase like we did earlier, and download the wallet backup file in case we're going to use our wallet on a different computer. Now it's time for us to actually test out the Ethan wallet by depositing some coins into it. Let's say I want to receive some TPay. On the dashboard, next to token pay, I'll just click on the deposit button and this will give me a pop-up window with the QR code and wallet address so that I can receive the coins. I can also generate a new address for further privacy and also add some labels to the addresses for my reference. 
you can do the same for Bitcoin and all of the other supported cryptocurrencies here. I'll go ahead and do a transaction and get back to you. I just made a transaction from another Bitcoin wallet and you'll notice that we now see some balance here. I received shy of 0.01 Bitcoin, which is about 41 euros at the time of recording. If you want to see more details, you can go ahead and click on the transactions button at the top. Here you can see the address, the transaction hash or transaction ID, the amount, value, and also how many confirmations does it have. You'll notice that a TPA transaction just appeared. This comes from another TPA wallet I just sent it from off camera. Now, just like the Bitcoin transaction above, this will show you all the relevant transaction information. We also receive a notification letting us know about the TPA transaction we received detailing the wallet address, timestamp, and the amount of the transaction. If we go back to the dashboard by clicking on the wallet button at the top, you can see this nice pie chart displaying the portfolio of the different cryptocurrencies we hold. You can now also change the way of how the list of the coins is displayed. In this mode, you can see more details about the coins such as the price chart. So you can track how much the price has changed in the last day, week, or even month. And you can do that for all of the supported cryptocurrencies. You can also change only the cryptocurrencies you have a balance of in the EFIN wallet so as to get a cleaner view of your portfolio. This concludes our how to use EFIN wallet tutorial. We hope this was helpful on getting you started and would love to hear your feedback. Thanks for watching and see you next time.